Hey guys! I'm missing you guys so much. We're only on day three and I'm running out of things to do at home, but I have been thinking about you guys nonstop and so is Miss Kimmy. I have a few things that I attached in this super long email, but there's a lot of good information for you. You guys can keep for life or just you know, have for this week being. It's totally up to you how you decide to use these resources, but I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how I would have imagined them to be used, and um, you guys can go with it from there. I don't like to use a lot of paper in my house, so all of my examples are really small, but I made them all JPEG or PDF files just because it'll be easy for you guys to open, and the best thing about JPEG and PDF, in my opinion, is that it's easy to zoom in on tablets or your phones, and then you can screenshot it to the size that you would prefer it to be. So, for example, I included number and alphabet tracing mats. What I imagined you doing with these things would be like to put them in a page protector or to laminate them, but obviously you don't have to do that. The only thing that's great about this is that you can keep reusing it over and over again without having to keep printing off sheets of paper. For the letter trace, you could always use a dry erase marker, but if you don't have those at home, you can use the washable markers too, because if they just have a wet, like wipey next to them, they can just wipe it off themselves and get stuff done like that. So that rocks. And then on the other side, so they're back to back inside the page protector, I have the number mat, and they can, again, trace it with a dry erase marker, or they can trace it with you know, paint, whatever you feel like doing at home. But uh, what I wanted to point out to you was next to the numbers, it's a great idea to put dots next to it based off the number. So two, so I put two dots because some of your children are still learning their number recognition skills. And yes, they might be tracing it, but they might not know what number it actually is. So putting those dots there helps them work on their counting skills. And then it also kind of puts, you know, a name to that number, which rocks. So just an idea. Another thing I printed off was this alphabet bingo card. This could be something fun for you guys to do as a family. So you could just print off the amount of friends that there are playing of bingo cards, or you could just have one for your child. But I would absolutely print off another one for little teeny bingo drawings. So you can crinkle these up and pull them one at a time and be like, oh, I draw the letter G, find the letter G on your mat. And they can put a button or a bead or a marshmallow candy, whatever you want. Just to fill up their bingo card and then you guys can have you know fun prizes or rewards or whatever you want to do with that another thing that rocks about cutting these out is that now that now they become flashcards and again sorry they're so small but like for example if they don't know what that letter is on top or they're confused they'll at least know what this animal is and maybe they can sound it out because a lot of them are getting really good about their letter and sound recognition so that could be something fun for you guys to do as a family um, I am sharing this video also so that you guys can find my YouTube channel I just created because I'm going to try to do circle times at home to post here. I'm going to keep doing my lessons on tadpoles like I told you, so if there's like a science experiment or anything like that, I can post videos of me giving you examples. I might do some, um, just like fun activities like cooking and show you guys how to make certain things. I'll introduce you to my dogs. Just things for us to stay connected because it is really weird not seeing you all every day. Um, so things like that. You guys can always email me and tell me if there's anything that is confusing about what I've posted for lesson plans or if you're having a hard time opening anything. Um, I'm home, so I'm here to help. I am scheduling uh, 10 to 11 a.m. I will be available for video calling. They want me to get training hours done during this week, too. So I will be available during through text and email every day. But if you want a video chat, that might be a good time. On Friday, I want to set up a Zoom, a video call, so that we can see everybody. And maybe we can start to share some of our home journals if your child decided to do those. Um, I will just have to let you know on a time because I'm scheduled to do a Zoom with all of the other Goddard teachers that day as well. So just a quick FYI, um, keep looking at the channel because I'm going to keep posting things of other teachers reading and music that we love to do as a class because I'm, I hope that they're asking to hear these things and they're hard to find on YouTube. So I'm just hoping that I can put it all in one place for you so you can find it and you can just you know, kind of just let it go throughout the day just to kind of keep them a part of that routine with us. Um, you're not obligated to do any of this stuff with us, but if you feel um, like you have the time or your child has been missing us like we've been missing them, I would love to see everybody. So I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. Let me know if you have any trouble reading this stuff or finding it or seeing it, and I'm happy to help. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.